वेलकम टू सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम लेक्चर सीरीज टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड एनर्जी एंड पावर कैलकुलेशन फॉर कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिग्नल नाउ इन दिस सेशन आई एल बी गोइंग टू कवर एनर्जी एंड पावर ऑफ डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल सो इफ डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल इज गिवन बाय एक्स ऑफ एन देन हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट एनर्जी एंड पावर सो फॉर अ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एनर्जी वी कैन कैलकुलेट एनर्जी ऑफ डिस्क्रीट सिग्नल बाय लिमिट n tends to infinite summation of small n varies from minus infinite to infinite mode of x of n whole square so this is how we can calculate energy of discrete signal x of n we have already seen for the case of continuous time signal energy can be calculated by limit t tends to infinite integration limit varies from minus t to t x square t dt that is how we have calculated energy of continuous time signal but for discrete we can calculate energy by limit n tends to infinite summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n whole square and for a calculation of power we can calculate power by limit n tends to infinite 1 by 2n plus 1 summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite mode of x of n whole square so that is how we can calculate power of it and for continuous time signal we have already seen power calculation is limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integration from minus t to t x square t dt so for continuous time we have seen this calculation but for discrete time we can have power calculation by limit n tends to infinite 1 by 2 n plus 1 summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite mode of x of n whole square so this is what the basic difference in calculation of energy and power for a discrete signal that we can have it to have a calculation of energy and power now i'll discuss few basics which is the regarding energy and power for a discrete signal so see all finite duration signal with finite amplitude are energy signal so whenever you have been given with any signal you will have to calculate only energy if duration of signal is finite with finite amplitude the reason is that signal cannot be a power signal so this is one thing which we need to keep it in our mind i'll give you few examples like see if you have rectangular pulse for time period t with amplitude a so this is what energy signal why the reason is it is finite duration signal or one can have triangular signal so this is even finite duration signal so we can say this is what energy signal so by directly observing shape of signal one can identify whether that given signal is energy signal or power signal so if duration of signal is finite one can directly say that signal is energy signal let us discuss few more points see periodic signal are power signal but all power signal are not periodic signal so whenever you have been given with periodic signal you should not calculate energy of it the reason is that is power signal so all periodic signal that is power signal but all power signal are not periodic one that one should understand and this type of questions that will come in gate examination so whenever you will be observing any periodic signal you can immediately say this is what power signal but if signal is not period if signal is power signal it is not like it will be periodic so this is what we need to keep it in our mind and if sinusoidal signal is been given then directly we can calculate average power of it and average power is vm by root 2 whole square so one can say it is what v max v max square divided by 2 or one can say it is actually v rms square the reason is we all know rms value of voltage that is always maximum by root 2 so average power that is square of rms voltage for periodic signal 
if it is sinusoidal one let us have one example so it will be more clear like see you have been given with equation where signal is x of t and that is phi sin omega t so in this one can observe here maximum amplitude of the signal v max that is phi so based on that we can say power is vm square by 2 so we can say that is 25 by 2 so that has to be 12.5 so this is how we can identify power directly from given signal so if signal is periodic signal directly we can calculate power of it by vm square by 2 where vm is maximum voltage of that periodic signal so if cosine or sine signal is been given to you one can directly calculate its power the reason is it is periodic and its energy cannot be calculated the reason is it is power signal so this is what we need to keep in our mind now let us discuss few more cases now see power plus energy signal that will be always power signal so when signal is combination of two category of signal energy signal as well as power signal then combination of power and energy signal that has to be power signal so for that i'll can consider one example like see i'm first drawing it this is what somewhat similar to step signal and over here it is exponentially decaying signal so this is the combination that is given to us now if you see it is what combination of two signals one is this signal and second is this signal so it is a combination of these two signal where this is exponential signal so it is somewhat like e to the power minus 80 signal and this is what step signal right it is what step signal folded step signal so as we know this exponentially decay signal so that is energy signal and this step signal that is always a power signal we have already calculated example based on this how this is energy signal and how this is power signal so i am directly saying like see right now we have a signal it is what combination of step as well as exponential signal where exponential signal is energy signal and power signal that is what step signal right so combination of energy and power signal that will be always power signal so when we talk about this combination x of t so that has to be always power signal this type of questions that is coming in gate examination sometimes they are asking like you have been given with one signal x of t and if it is a combination of two signals and if we know out of those two signal one is energy signal and another is power signal in that case in a b c d you will be finding four options whether it is energy signal power signal none of it can't say this kind of options are there in that case one can directly say if you have been given with signal which is combination of energy plus power directly one can say it is what power signal so this is how we can understand direct answer out of that gate examination questions and one more basic that i'll be discussing that is continuous impulse is neither energy nor power signal so whenever you have been given with any continuous impulse so one should understand this continuous impulse is that cannot be energy or power so continuous impulse train that is not energy signal as well as not a power signal so these are the basics that we need to keep in our mind regarding energy and power signals let us have quick review of it again if discrete signal is given by x of n then one can calculate energy by limit n tends to infinite summation n varies from minus infinite to infinite mode of x of n square and for continuous time we have already seen energy calculation that is limit t tends to infinite integration minus t to t x t x t square dt power is limit n tends to infinite 1 by 2 n plus 1 summation 
n varies from minus infinite to infinite x of n of square and power for continuous time that we have already calculated limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integration minus t 2t x square t dt. All finite duration signals are energy signal. So for that we don't need to calculate power of it. Directly one can say that is what energy signal. Like one can see over here rectangular pulse and this is what triangular signal of finite duration. So that is what always energy signal. All periodic signal are always power signal and that we can calculate by Vm square by 2. But all power signal are not periodic signal that one should understand. And directly we can calculate power from cosine and sine signal as per Vm square by 2. If signal is algebraic addition of energy and power signal then it will be a power signal that one should understand. And continuous impulse is not energy nor power signal. So this is what the basic which is the regarding energy and power signal. I hope that you have understood this. In next session, I will be going to ex explain few examples. So stay tuned with this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can give your valuable suggestions. Definitely based on it in future, I will make videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.